Hello everyone, welcome back to us to see us. As you can see, today I'm going to discuss about this three transmission modes. So what all points I'm going to cover in this video? Definition, then types of transmission mode, then explanation of each and every transmission mode along with examples. So please watch the full video to understand each and every point in detail. Let's start. First is the definition of transmission mode. The way in which data is transmitted from one device to another device is known as transmission mode. How the data is transmitted. Now the other name for transmission mode is communication mode. Next, there are three types of transmission modes which are they simplex, half duplex, full duplex. Now we will see each of this mode in detail. The first one is the simplex mode. Here the communication is unidirectional that means only in one direction. A device can only send data but cannot receive or it can receive data but cannot send. So simultaneously it cannot send and receive the data. Either it can send the data or either it can receive the data. Clear? So the performance of this mode is low as compared to other modes. It, with this figure also you will be able to understand what the simplex mode is about. Next is examples of simplex mode. The most common example is radio station as it transmits the signals to listeners but never allow them to transmit back. You are not transmitting any signal to radio station in return. Okay, Only you are, only radio station it transmits the signals to listeners. Similarly, other examples are monitor which only displays the output. It doesn't take any input. Keyboard similarly you are just using to input the data. Then television which accepts signals from broadcast but never transmits signals in return. I hope you are clear with the simplex examples. Moving to the next mode. Half duplex mode. The communication is bidirectional. Both direction but not at the same time which you have to be very clear about half duplex. Don't get confused with full duplex. It is bidirectional but not at the same time. Like the devices can send and receive the data but one at a time. See here. the figure itself you can see at first time time one the data is been sent to the workstation and at time two the data is been received by the workstation one you can call it as this. So the performance of this mode is better than simplex mode but less than full duplex mode. Let us see an example. See here the most common example is walkie talkie. In walkie talkie one party speaks and another party listens but after a pause the other party speaks and first party listens okay both do not speak simultaneously if, it, if you do in that if you do that in half duplex mode the communication will be distorted so only one party speaks another listens and after a pause other party will speak and first one will receive clear with half duplex next is the final one that is full duplex mode here the communication is bidirectional. Here the devices can send and receive the data simultaneously. There here, here you don't need how don't need to pause and then listen from the receiver. Here you can send and receive the data simultaneously. So the performance of this mode is highest as compared to other modes. See the figure. Yes, bidirectional at all time. Now we will see some example. The most common example is telephone network. Yes. You agree like mobile phones and all when two people are communicating with each other by a telephone line both can talk and listen at same time. Now there is no need of explanation. You are clearly un understood how you use mobile phones and telephones and all. Other examples two computers connected by Ethernet cable then USB. Okay. So these are the example of full duplex mode. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you are clear with the concept of transmission modes. So if you find this video useful and if you think that you have learned something from this video, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel S2CS and share this video as much as possible. I will meet you in my next video with some other interesting topic. Bye.